Hi, this is Jamie Fox with Burning River Bushcraft. I'm out here today to continue on our survival firearm series. Today, I have the Ruger 1022 takedown. The case for this is great. Most of the takedown rifles or takedown shotguns fail at the case level. This case is actually pretty well designed. Opens up, I've got a separate compartment for my buttstock and a separate compartment for my barrel. And then there's another compartment where you can possibly put a fishing kit, possibly. Uh, the bottom pocket here is designed to hold the 30 round magazines. And then the top component here, the top would hold, you know, hearing protection, any other type of items that you want to put in here. So again, this part, this uh, firearm breaks dead in half. The, I like the durability of the outside of the case. The inside of the case is a nylon that feels like it's not going to last. It's going to come out of the case in two separate components that are almost dead size level. Uh, this is a 16 inch barrel on this. The barrel goes into the receiver and it goes in a quarter turn and locks into place. Very solid arrangement. Uh, I've shot groups with this rifle uh, continuous and then I've shot groups where I take the barrel off for every shot and it always repeats a zero. Uh, very high quality. When this gun is put together, it is exactly like any other 1022 that you've ever seen. Uh, all the components are the same, uh, the stock's the same length. Uh, the, other than the seam in here, you're really not going to be able to tell that this is a takedown firearm. The magazine release is extended. Uh, that's a good feature in my opinion, especially at this time of year when it's cold out. You know, my hands are cold anyway right now. If I had my mitts on, I could still use this. Uh, magazine release. This camo model came with a matching 30 round camouflage magazine. Uh, any of the aftermarket 30 rounders would work. It also utilizes a, a flush fit 10 round magazine from the factory. That's a rotary magazine I'm sure everybody is familiar with those that's ever seen a 1022. Another added feature to the extended magazine is to give you something else to hold on to. Again, when your hands are cold, uh, I can use this, kind of lock my hand into the magazine well, or into the magazine uh, rifle intersection, and that allows me to maneuver the gun through brush. Uh, it, it's very handy to take the gun away and keep conscious of the direction I'm pointed in so it's always pointed in a safe direction. important to me to be able to load a magazine as opposed to a single shot. Um, my hands are cold. I don't want to have to try to load a small shell into a small barrel. Uh, and if I drop the shell in the snow, it's pretty much lost. I like the fact that I can grab the magazine. This one's all snowy. Give it a dust off. Insert it. Give it a tug to make sure it's in. Rack the bolt and I have a loaded gun. Very convenient. If I'm on a trap line, I'm in and out of the vehicle, I can continually uh, just load it, unload it, depending on what I'm doing. Even the flush 10 rounders, again, I'm holding a block that I can load and pop out and hold in my hand as opposed to a single shell. I like the fact that this is a semi-automatic firearm. I like the immediate uh, follow-up shot that this gives me as opposed to, you know, the slower single shot. Yes, you're gonna conserve more ammo with a single shot. However, I'm going to eat more with a uh, semi-automatic firearm. Anything that's going to give me a follow-up shot is exactly what I'm going to do. Especially with a 22 long rifle. The 22 is underpowered for most games. So this enables, enables me to uh, you know, do a quick follow-up shot so there's less suffering with the game. Ending. So we went over the features on this firearm. Now let's go shoot it. So here's the 1022 takedown. I have the standard flush magazine. 
and this is why I prefer a semi-automatic in this kind of uh, environment. I can leave my mitts on, load it, rack it. Of course, I do have to uh, remove my mitt to shoot, but I can limit my exposure to the elements like this. No surprise with this. Uh, the Ruger 1022 is the best takedown uh, rifle that I have access to. I haven't played with a lot of the other brands, but this one it runs exactly like a full size 1022, and that's all you can ask for a 22 semi automatic rifle. I highly suggest you take a look at one of these. This is Jamie Boggs with Burning River Bushcraft. Take care.